Hi friends, Miss Hazel here. And Miss Kate. Okay, hello spring. Hello everyone. We have a really kind of interesting, fun project you could do at home with um, if you have paper and Q-tips and a little bit of paint. We're gonna paint cherry blossoms. Kind of cool, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna make my crazy little uh, Q-tippy paint brushes. So I've, in my bundle, I've taken nine, but you could put it whatever kind of amount you want. And I've found a little rubber band and I'm putting it around a few times. You don't want it super tight because you want to be able to level it out and have it be, that's going to be your little boop, 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 your little paintbrush. Okay, so I've got my, you saw how I did that? And I'm using a paintbrush. I've got some black paint and I've got red and white paint and I'm going to make my own pink. So the first thing we have to do is draw our tree trunk. So um, black paint, paintbrush, and oh, look at this. I've already started one. You get kind of an idea. I don't think you have to be super fancy. You're just going to kind of start from the bottom and imagine what the tree trunk looks like. Wing up like that. Remember, it's your art. Have fun. Kind of paint. We're using tempera paint on this project, but I also think you could use acrylic if you like. I'm going to make some branches. I'm imagining, you know, how a tree has like big limbs that come out from it. And then after I do my big limbs, I'm going to make some small branches because then I'm going to put my cherry blossoms. And my friend Miss Kate was looking up some fun facts about cherry blossoms Let that me share some she with was going right to share now. with us. Okay, so there's my. That. That's kind of I wouldn't overthink your, I wouldn't overthink your tree. Like you're just kind of making a tree with some branches like that. Okay, so that's how I did my tree, just some branches and some black paint. Now I'm going to let that one dry. But look at that, I already did one. It's ready to go. Kind of fun. It's all dry. And now I'm going to start, on this one I started with a darker color first. So I put some white paint out on my, I'm using a magazine sheet as my palette. And then when I'm done, I can just fold it up and throw it away. And um, it's not much of a mess to clean up. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of pink because you can mix around your colors. And um, there we go, I'm gonna go kind of dark but I don't want it to be red because cherry blossoms, as we are gonna learn from Miss Kate, mm -hmm. are kind of pink. It's kind of dark, but I like it. Now I've got my funny little paint brushy guy and I'm gonna, I don't want tons of paint on it, otherwise it'll be kind of dabby. And I'm gonna put some of my cherry blossoms. Maybe a few have fallen to the ground gonna do that kind of fun like a little stamp I'm gonna leave that one in case I want to come back and then I will make my next one get some more white paint I used like four different colors on this one I think four maybe five take a look you have to be exact you're just kind of having fun the idea is not to have too much paint on your um, on your palette Okay, so that looks a little bit lighter, and I don't think it has to be completely mixed in. I'll take another, and I'm going to put some more stamps. See, it's a little bit lighter. Kind of fun. Okay, can I share anything with you? I didn't oh, want yes. to interrupt you. Okay. Oh, I was so excited. I was doing my art. Well, cherry blossoms and the leaves are edible <gasps> and used in many traditional Japanese sweets and tea. They are first pickled and then used in recipes for mochi cakes, candies, and some cookies. You can also brew a sakura blossom tea or make special um, fun drinks. Ooh. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Yeah. And cherry blossoms symbolize renewal. Yeah. Known as sakura in Japanese, these pale blooms, so the, like that pale pink bloom, are a symbol of spring. Oh. But they also are short-lived. I have to go back to that fact. That was sort of interesting. They, somewhere in here. Oh, they only, um, cherry trees have a short lifespan. 
Really? Typically, they only last for about 16 to 20 years. Yeah. Some have a lot longer life expectancy, like a black cherry tree can live up to 250 years. <gasps> oh, my. That's yeah, a pretty long time. Here in our country, in our nation's capital, there's a lot of cherry trees too, aren't they? Yes. I believe they were a gift from the... Um, from Japan. Yes. Yes, and it, it, there was some sort of controversy, but I couldn't figure that out. Oh. Also... Oh, you look that up if you like. Fun facts about cherry blossoms. Cherry blossom ice cream is a real Ooh. thing. Baskin mm -hmm. Robbins Japan released a limited edition of cherry blossom ice cream in 2016. And haagen also oh my gosh. had cherry blossom pint for Valentine's Day. Huh. I'm going to go back in. So now I'm just, I've got my collars. I've got my, I think that I, I'm more on this one. I think I'm happy with my tree. Look at that. Oh, it's quite lovely. It's pretty. So you're just, you know, it's not an exact science. There's a lot of different pinks in a, um, in a, in a cherry tree. And... I've mixed a bunch of different colors, Q-tips, and there you have it. So thanks for joining us. It's been nice to see you. Um, happy spring. If you do this project, take a picture of it and send it to us at our Instagram at hashtag Alameda Arts Fun. And if you want to see what we're up to, you could check out our website on the World Wide Web, Alameda Arts. Anything else, Miss Kate? No, they can subscribe and find out when oh, our next yeah. videos come out. Oh, yes, we have fancy videos that come out at least once a month and sometimes more. All right, take care, everybody. Nice to see you. Bye, everyone.